Barney in Outer Space is so cool. This is a 1998 Barney and Friends special directed by Fred Holmes. This is another one where I didn't have any specific memories from my childhood. There's still a lot of nostalgia in Barney though and it's so educational. It starts off with the children and their teacher Miss Kepler um, getting ready for astronomy club but Miss Kepler falls asleep. And Barney happens to come to life at that point and they create an imagination spaceship which is this beautifully designed spaceship. I love the design of it. The set design was just absolutely gorgeous and they go off into space and while they're in space they learn a lot about a lot of different things like gravity and the planets and stars and, and the sun um, and then they arrive on this planet where they meet another child and uh, well a space child and they teach each other about their own space games and there's a tickle tree and so many fun things visually it's gorgeous the sets are just so beautiful to look at and there's a lot of education in it we also meet uh, Kenneth R. Reitler uh, the NASA astronaut which is pretty awesome and uh, he delivers a really strong message about staying in school and continuing to use your imagination which is always a nice thing to be reminded of and of course we have some beautiful costumes particularly um, the space girl uh, she, maybe me I can't even say her name maybe deep by Alex Saxon and her costume was gorgeous but they all had really awesome space suits as well and and the kids involved in this we have one of my personal favourites, Kim. Uh, we also have Kisha and Robert, um, a couple of other children whose names I didn't write down. And everybody was delightful and gave great performances. And for the first time, I actually wanted to see some behind the scenes footage, particularly when they're doing their anti-gravity performances. I would have just loved to have seen the behind the scenes for that, but everything was edited together so beautifully really thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't care how old I am, I, I had a lot of fun watching it, so I can only imagine how delightful it would be and magical as a child. As is always the case with the Barney special, we also have some brilliant songs, to name just a few that I rather liked. Um, we have Mr. Star, which I like, and um, they, they sang a version of The Wheels on the Bus, but for the spaceship instead, which I thought worked very well. Itsy Bitsy Spider featured, which is uh, very delightful. I never thought of it as a game before, um, but never mind. And there were a couple of other songs as well, which I uh, I really enjoyed. Some songs I hadn't heard of before, but I thought they were pretty catchy, very engaging. Definitely a very fun, educational, informative and magical episode of Barney. A great way to introduce a lot of children to the concept of outer space and, and what it might be like. I definitely got a lot of nostalgia from it with the characters, but also I had a lot of fun watching it. It's it's uh, an absolute delight. Very well acted, very well performed. Set designs are just absolutely gorgeous. I don't think Miss Kepler should get an award for the best teacher because she sensibly fell asleep and let the children go off with a giant purple dinosaur, but overlooking that fact, uh, it's it's really delightful and I had a lot of fun with it. Barney in Outer Space is really brilliant, very well put together and, and really a true credit to the show.